So to start off with, let's start with some basic information. Virago has the life points of 250,000 every phase, and in total there are 5 phases. Its combat level is 240 or 10,000 with the 138 combat system. Its max hits are 3,500 with melee, 4,000 plus with magic, and 10,000 special attack, which is with um, red bombs, obviously. If you stand next to Virago and you are around a lot of people, you can get hit the max of 10,000. The entrance hit is 50,000, but this is nothing to worry about, as um, um, as the damage will be split. And the 10,000 special can also be hit on phase 4, but however you can out eat that easily. So, it, it seems like a hard phase, however it's easy. So yeah, now let's move on to the gear you will need out of Virago. So for the gear, I would recommend you take Dual Seismix, Dual Ascension, or Dual Virtus. This is because they are the three best to use. If you are maging, I would suggest that you bring debuffs. And if you are ranging, I suggest you bring heals. This would help the players out a lot as well. And debuffs on the last phase help a lot to push it back. For the armor, I would suggest Tectonic, Virtus, or Sea Singers. Um, people don't take Sea Singers if you are DPSing, however you can use it if you are bomb tanking, but in this video I am going to be covering DPSing as it is a basic guide. For the Scrimshaw, I am going to use Elements, Sign of Life, Cruelty, or Vampirism. Vampir vampirism if you are meleeing, however I do not suggest that as Assault and Destroy, the two best abilities for melee, get cancelled out when Virago moves. So I would not suggest meleeing unless you are the base tank, which is the main tank that tanks Virago's melee hits. For the aura, I suggest you bring Runic Accuracy, sharp Sharpshooter, or Vampirism. These are the three best auras to use, in my opinion. And for the cape, you can use Completionist cape, Max cape, any kind of god cape, or a skill cape. Um, if you want to upgrade and downgrade amulets and rings, you can if you want. That's up to you. And yeah. Now let's move on to where the boss is located. So your inventory should look something similar to this. If you are doing two or more kill trips, I suggest you bring two oval flasks because sometimes you use more than three oval doses per kill. Um, for prayer potions, I bring like eight if I'm doing two kills. If more, I bring ten or even twelve because I put some restores in my yak. Um, I bring debuffs and my singularity is in my inventory because right now I'm wearing a shield and you have to wear a shield so your HP is at least above 10k plus. This is to make sure you survive if no one accepts or if you're 5, 6 manning. This would be a good idea. Um, as you can see I have debuff runes as well that I will be applying on the final phase. And yeah, I can only fit six food in my inventory. If you follow the same setup, you should be able to follow the same. I also bought a uni pouch in case I run out of food, which I most likely won't as a DPS, as I, as you should hardly eat food as a DPS. However, if it's your first ever time, don't be afraid to eat food. Just go to a Virago mass or something before you actually go in proper teams. Virago is located in the cave just north of Falador, east of Doric's hut. The fastest way to get there is by teleporting to the Falador Lordstone and running north past the statue of Saradormin, or simply use the Falador teleport. So when you are DPSing at Virago, it is advised to stand um, close to Virago, as if you don't, you'd get blue and red bombs sent to you. Blue bombs hit you for 2-3Ks constantly, which will make you eat a lot of food. It also gets split between everyone and everyone could get hit like a 3k. The highest a blue bomb can hit is 4500 as that is rare. However with the red bomb it is most likely to hit 5k plus if you are stood around people so when you get this you escape or get out of the group as fast as possible because they do a lot of damage. Um, you will also get a message for the red bomb. So yeah. For phase 1, Virago will automatically heal until a player has jumped onto him to retrieve the first mole piece. And then for phase 2, he will automatically heal until the mole piece falls out. And then for phase 4, he will automatically heal until the third waterfall. And for phase 5, he will automatically heal until he is defeated with the mole of Unmins. And this means that he has to be at the end of the little line. So you have to DPS as hard as possible. Sunshine, do whatever you can to kill Virago on phase 5. 
So now that we've got that over with, let's start with the phases. Um, I am going to cover all the phases one to five, step by step. So let's start with phase one. If you are, if your DPS isn't as good as dual seismic, so if you don't have dual seismics, you will most likely be asked to jump or take Volk five. When they say take Volk five, um, they mean on phase two, three, and four, Virago will stomp on the ground and five times. Number one and two, the base tank should take. Number three and four, the bomb tank should take. And five is your turn. All you do is count the stomps it does on the ground. And once you see the bomb tank tank escaping, um, you evoke. Get you get hit a dismember of 300 if you're praying melee, or 800 if you're not. So you freedom that that bleed. If you do not have freedom ready, you can simply escape. And if someone takes you, tells you to take three and four, the team is bad, and you should just leave because the bomb tank should take Volk three and four. Now I'll show you guys some clips of what I mean. Let's start off with jumping. All right, to jump, you have to go through the little gap where I'm going. You then have to climb to the top so you can run across to the jumping area. So as you can see, you climb up the two walls. And then you jump over that a gap that you should see. Once you are over there, um, you just go to the end of that little ledge or whatever you can see. And what you, the base tank should bring the Virago close to you. And what you do is you vote the boss, go two steps north and then two steps east. This will lure, the, lure Virago in the correct place for you to jump. So what you do is you just run back um, run back to the edge and then get ready to jump. You must have a free inventory space for this. Also, um, it, you have to jump at low HP, around 20k HP, so the bomb tank does not get much bombs after the jump. This also makes it a lot easier for the DPSs as you only have to do 20k HP to get to finish the phase in one tick so it's not wasting that much time but as you can see I jumped at 20k HP as it was the best time and yeah that's all you have to do to jump so on phase 2 you have to start voking the boss um, do not attack Virago straight away otherwise it will just hit you for the volk so when it comes up, let the base tank attack first. He will take one and two. As you can see, his fist gets smashed on the ground. That was um, two. The first one didn't show for some reason. But yeah, as you can see, now the bomb tank voked. He takes one. And then he takes another one as well. So that's two and three. And then you voke as soon as he escapes. As soon as he escapes, and as soon as you see that dismember signs and your buffs and debuffs, you free them. So that dismember will go away. It's as simple as that. And yeah, you do this throughout phase 2, 3, and 4. And on 5, it will choose random people to do it on. So then, if it does choose you, you free them yourself. And there is no voking on um, phase 5. Um, yeah, so I'll slow it down for you guys as well, so as you can see clearly. Take a second look and look very closely. It will stamp its um, fist on the ground and it will do that four times and then you evoke and take the fifth. This is very simple and it should be hard to make a mistake unless you are stood far away. So yeah, if you do use up your freedom, you can always escape. So in phase 2, Virago will also start reflecting. This will happen from phase 2 all the way up to phase 3, 4 and 5. So pay, pay attention. So Virago will pop up this message saying he's reflecting his damage to other players. What this means is whatever he, you do to Virago will hit to another player. So say you hit a 5k on Virago, a 5k will be hit on another player. So when this happens just stay off Virago. Get off Virago as soon as possible. A little message will pop up but the best time to get off is after the Vokes. So after someone's, after you, you finish the 5 Vokes just get off Virago and yeah 
you should be good. So phase three has many different phases. It changes every week for five weeks in a row. So let's start off with the easiest week and week one. This is one of the easiest week that you that you can do. The others are a lot harder. So during this week, Virago will spawn two little minions called Scopuluses. You have to kill both of them as fast as possible and at the same time. If you don't kill them at the same time, um, the, scopul the other Scopulus will get angry and it will start hitting har as hard as possible. After this phase is complete, all your other phases should be normal as the normal routine. There will be nothing um, in the way you just carry on the kill as normal. So week 2 is Vitalis. Unlike the other week, this week carries on all the way until phase 5. This week can be dangerous because there are Vitalis that can trap you and they act as barriers so they can trap you in corners etc. So you have to kill these monsters as fast as possible if they get spawned. To avoid the minions from spawning, you have to um, go to the little uh, go to the orb that Virago sends out. Um, this happens a few times on phase three. Depends how fast you go past phase three because it's a DPS phase, and it also happens on um, phase four and five. However, on phase five, only three people have to go, and on phase three and four, five people have to get to the orb. So this week is mostly six, seven manned by people. On phase 4, after every waterfall, it is advised to stand northeast as that's where the orb is going to um, go because Virago, when it does the waterfall, it always goes back to the middle position. And when it is in the middle position, it, the orb will always go northeast. So it is advised to stand there after every waterfall on phase 4 only. So week 3 is Rockfall. This week also carries on until phase 4. After phase 4, phase 5 is just simple. So during this week players must death death dot on the base tank um, by doing this when the rock has fallen and if it does fall on the base tank the damage gets divided people do this so the damage does get divided between people because if you only stand in one area by yourself you can get hit up to 8k and this can be very dangerous and it is po easily possible to get one hit this is a very hard week for um, bomb tanks because they have to destroy the rocks plus avoid the rock attack. Um, you'll know where the rock is going because there'll be a shadow on the floor before um, where it is going to fall just as it is when Virago is jumping at the end of every phase. So yeah. So week 4 is Green Bomb. During this week Virago sends out a bomb called the Green Bomb which can one hit you, well hit a 10k on you unless you pass it on to another player. And to avoid this there are three ma main methods. The first method being circle method. Um, to do this, you stand in a circle around Virago and pass it around as a circle. Then there's the box method, which is a little bit more complicated. All you do is stand in a little box, and the first person to get the bomb passes it into the box, and then the first two people move out of the box once the bomb is passed on. The final method is easy, but can cost you food. What you do is you um, pass it to one player and that one player tanks the green bomb and yet that tanks the green bomb and gets hit at 10k and that's pretty much about it. For phase 5 it is completely different. What you do is um, the, if you get the green bomb you pass it to the base tank and then the base tank runs to the DPS spot and then you stay at the base tank spot until the, DP, until the bomb is gone from the DPS spot. This week may sound complicated, however, it is possible to do if you learn it properly. Alright, for the final week, it's called the Team Split Week. During this week, you get turned into a colour either red or green. And you have to run into the box that is the same colour as you, so there will be a red and a green box. If you run into them boxes, you will be saved. However, if you do not make it, eat above 8k as the highest you will get hit if you don't go into the boxes is 8k. And then on P4 and 5 it is exactly the same. The boxes will appear, you will turn into the either of the colours and you run into the box. This week is very easy and you should be able to easily do. Even if you do not make it into the boxes, you can easily eat above 8k. So, f so finally I'd like to tell you guys that phase 3 is a DPS phase. So you have to get this phase over with as fast as possible. To do this all you have to do is do as much DPS as possible. So sunshine... <laughs> Death Swiftness, use ultimates after the first reflect, and this phase should be over pretty fast. So yeah, 
that's about it. And then phase four and five, I'll explain. I'll explain to you next. So I've slowed this down for you guys as well. But as soon as you get to phase four, Virago will um, put fire around your screen. This little red things. And what you do is you get into the waterfall, um, which will be at the any corner at any corner of the. Um, of the room so what you have to do is you spin your camera around in a 360 and see what side it is and then you just quickly run into the waterfall as fast as possible so you don't get hit this phase may sound hard however it's not all you have to do is run into the waterfall and then attack Virago again that's it and on this phase you also get little minions and when you do get this minion kill it as fast as possible all you do is asphyxiate the minion or something like that to kill it as fast as possible which is shown here on the next clip and yeah that's about it for phase 4 everything else is normal and yeah let's move on to phase 5 so that's the minion I was talking about it is a clone of your character all you do is use the first stun you can get so if you don't have asphyxiate use impact which is the mage stun and just kill it as fast as possible and yeah that's about it I've slowed it down for you guys so you can see it properly and yeah that's about it for phase 4 now let's move on to phase 5 so now phase 5 phase 5 is a DPS phase just like phase 3 however you have to DPS and get it to the end of this ledge type of thing Um, this was recorded on team split so this would be a good example of team split but what you do is it will reflect to start off with so you use a few basics and then get off on the reflect also on the reflect it would be best to apply debuffs um, and then after the reflect just sunshine sunshine do whatever you can and on phase 5 it will also bleed random people so if you get bled use freedom or if you don't have freedom just escape and then quickly get back in try not bomb the group if possible but if you're new just come back in as fast as possible so then use your sunshine and everyone else should as well for the best DPS and then use your um, thresholds and you should do good you just carry on this so after you've used your um, ultimate on the first reflect on the second one you do not use your ultimate you use your thresholds and then on the next one after that you use your ultimates and this cycle should continue until Virago gets to the end of this ledge um, like shown here and yeah that's about it on fi let's go over the phases again on phase one Virago will heal until you have jumped on Virago and the best way to do that is is to get it to low HP and then jump at 20k to get it all in one tick phase 2 it will send you have to get off on reflex and it will send out send out little orbs and you have to pass in the little orbs and get off on reflex and that's when the Volks will start as well phase 3 depends on the what, what weak it is it is also a DPS phase so you do as much DPS as possible on that phase phase 4 is waterfall phase so you get in the waterfall um, until the f three waterfalls have done and phase five which is now you just do as much DPS as possible and you try get it to the end like shown here so thanks for watching guys um, this guide took me a long time to make so if you could give it a like maybe um, and if this helped you subscribe as well and yeah guys um, peace out and I might also do five videos on each of the different weeks so yeah let's end this off with a full successful kill and just carry on watching the end of this.